Hi Libra, welcome to your March 2021 general monthly tarot reading. Thank you so much for watching. We're going to be looking into your energy this month and see what's going on for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Remember guys, these messages are very general, so if something doesn't resonate with you, just leave it. It's for somebody else. If something does, however, fit your situation a little too well, let me know in the comments section below. Tell me that you claim this reading. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Your crowning energy is health. So I'm seeing where some of you, the theme in March is walking away from old habits, things, people, lifestyles, situations that are not good for your health. Like focusing primarily on your health, that's a big factor. I see you having good health, like there's a lot of very optimistic and positive energy because you have Jupiter, Sag, and ninth house present, the number nine. So all of that is Sagittarian energy, Jupiter energy, which is good luck. You know, it's a positive energy. So there's positivity and luck surrounding your health in the month of March. So if you've been experiencing health issues, you may find that, you know, you happen to go to a doctor and they just happen to have the perfect medication for you or, you know, whatever. They, this could manifest in so many different ways. Yeah, I'm seeing somebody who possibly has like some kind of scare, maybe even a pregnancy scare. Or for some of you, it might be a miscarriage. Yeah, there's some sort of anxiety surrounding someone's health. Yeah, there's like something about somebody's health that freaks them out. I pick up where there's something here. It's like somebody's keeping a very close eye on their mental health. Maybe this is something to do with mental illness. Maybe somebody's going to make a major lifestyle change for their health. I can't remember who else had this message. I want to say it was maybe Taurus. So you might be dealing with Taurus. You do have the Empress here. Or you may have this placement in your chart. Like someone's taking initiative. They're saying, you know what? I've been sedentary for too long. All I do is lay in bed all day. Right? That's what somebody does, and they're depressed because of it. If this is you, this might be you. For some of you, you, I see you, you got all your pillows propped up, you got your Netflix, you know, you got your little Chromecast, like, you got your setup. The Empress has her setup. You got your recliner, you know, you got it all. And that's why you won't leave your couch, okay? Because you got it all set up nice. It calls out your name. It's like, come sit on me. There's a lack of self-control when it comes to sitting on the couch and watching TV for someone. Or when it comes to like laying in bed. They like can't get out of bed. They can't get themselves out of bed. Yeah, like somebody might be neglecting their responsibilities because they're just, all they're doing is laying around. Yeah, like some of you have had some kind of goals, health goals in particular. I'm really seeing an energy surrounding your health and fitness in the month of March. It's like some of you have been putting these goals for yourself and you've been neglecting them. So you're coming to this place of empowerment and saying, you know what, I need to take initiative. I need to get going, I need to take action. You're saying I can't keep waiting around for that sexy body to fall into my lap, right? You gotta persist and persevere because somebody here, like they've been seeing growth but it hasn't been consistent growth because you haven't been consistent, right? This is something that, um, Libra, you're gonna have to take full responsibility for because I'm really picking up that this is completely a you thing. So I'm seeing, Libra, where some of you are trying to offer somebody advice, maybe about their health, 
or maybe about their lifestyle. But it's not a pushy kind of advice. It's like, hey, you know, I noticed that you're partaking in X, Y, and Z, and you know what, like, that's not really that healthy for you, but I respect your free will. Like, it's coming from a place of like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna step back, right? Very Sagittarian energy, free energy. That's what I'm picking up here. It's like you're kind of telling somebody your perspective and then you're allowing them to make a decision based on what you've told them. And I do feel like this is you. You could be dealing with a water sign or maybe another Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. And I don't know if this person takes your information. Like they might not take what you have to say to them. And you know what, Libra, like this... What you're telling this person, because some of you are definitely telling somebody something this month, like you're going to be giving somebody like some heartfelt advice. And I do feel like this is you. Unless you're dealing with another Libra or maybe a Scorpio. You might be dealing with a Libra or a Scorpio. It's like someone gives someone else advice to improve their life to improve their health but someone doesn't want to take it and it's because they've heard it multiple times before from other people like you're not the only person that's told this person this Libra you're not the only person that said these things to this person like and on some level deep down they know that there's something here that's an issue. I'm really getting the vibe of an addiction. Because you have the devil. Like someone's very much aware that they have an addiction, but they just, they don't want to deal with it. Like you are not the, you're not the only person that's told them about this. For some of you, this could be your child, or for some of you, this could be your mother or your father. It could also be that you have a child with someone and your partner may have an addiction and it's affecting the stability of your family because they're completely neglecting, like someone is completely neglecting something. They're kind of like suppressing it and ultimately, Libra, like, you can't change this person. Like, you can't make them want to change. You can't make this person want to improve their health. For some of you, this could be shady business practice. I'm seeing somebody who has a boss who is quite cold, calculating, and maybe even unstable. Like, I'm getting pure psychopath energy. Like, some of you have a psychopathic boss, and they are very unstable mentally. Or you have a coworker or somebody who you work with who is, like, psychotic. Like, just, I'm, I don't know, I keep hearing the word psychopath. Just very mentally unstable. This could also be your partner's mother, who's very unstable. If you've been dealing with somebody like this, Libra, I feel as though you're going to be, you're gonna be um, freeing yourself from this energy because it's brought you a lot of stress, more than you realize. More than you realize, because you have this Nine of Swords. So for some of you, like, you've been investing so much into this situation and it's draining you. I'm also getting the energy of somebody here who is very mysterious. They don't talk about themselves much. They don't tell you a lot about themselves. Because I think they're ashamed of who they are, deep down. Like somebody here has a core wound of shame.
they may actually even be, somebody here might be a very angry individual deep down, but they don't work through their anger in a healthy way, so they kind of let it build, because that could be the healthy the health card. It's like somebody's expression of their emotion is unhealthy. I'm seeing someone's um, addictions being present. Somebody's got insecurities. This is just, I'm not quite sure. Somebody is very closed off. Very closed off. You could be dealing with a water sign, possibly a Scorpio. You could also be dealing with a Capricorn. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, I feel like this person's still attached to someone. Because I keep seeing a mystery person, a mystery person. Like you may see like a mystery number pop up on this person's phone or I'm not quite sure. I don't advocate for looking through phones, okay, people? But I'm seeing where some of you still do it anyway, so it doesn't matter what I say. Um, because it's almost as if like somebody kind of keeps their phone face down around you. And it, and it gives you anxiety. It gives someone anxiety, probably you. Because it triggers those insecurities. It triggers those wounds. So I'm seeing where somebody's frustrated here. But at the heart of your reading, you have freedom. So some of you are freeing yourselves this month from something that you were very attached to. And it was possibly very unhealthy. Like the attachment, the level of attachment was very unhealthy. For some of you, it may have been codependent. You have the emperor and the empress, though. So it's like these energies are compatible, but there's still so much wounding and still so much instability that it's like it, it's not healthy. No matter how compatible you are with somebody, love and compatibility are not the only things that can carry a relationship. But yeah, I'm seeing where somebody here is, once again, like a very angry person deep down. Like they have a lot of anger and a lot of, I don't know, like I'm just getting the energy of someone who suppresses their anger a lot. And it's like, do not test this person. Do not test this person because when it comes out, it comes out. And I'm seeing where for some of you, like, it might come out. On the surface, very calm and collected. You could be dealing with Sagittarius. Sagittarians can be pretty explosive. And I say that as a Scorpio sun, Sagittarius moon, and Venus. Okay, people? So don't get salty, my Sagittarians. You know the shadow aspect of Sag is explosive. Even if you don't display these traits in your own personality, that's just the energy of Sag. I feel like I have to explain everything with you people. So, not all of you. Some of you are, I mean, most of you are great, but you know, there's always those people that, you know, you just gotta get out the Crayolas for them because they just don't understand. Okay, so you have balance and quest as your chakra cards. So you've kind of gone through a situation where something destabilized, something is kind of breaking down and falling apart around you. You're carrying some kind of heavy weight on your shoulders from a situation that just lost control. Like it, you just felt out of control in this situation. I think some of you we're possibly either dealing with someone who is trying to hold, hold on to something or hold something up that was falling apart. Some of you may have been blocked by people or you may have blocked some people.
but I'm seeing where there's this energy of people turning their back on you while you're going through something very heavy. Maybe it's something involving your health. Maybe it's something involving your reproductive health. There's a situation where some of you are going to either experience some people in your life who kind of shy away from you and turn away from you during a very crazy period of your life. For some of you, this has to do with your health. It's like you've maybe experienced some kind of reproductive health problems. And it's like when you needed help, these three people, it's three people. These three people were not there for you. Or there was a situation where maybe somebody had a baby unexpectedly. And there were some people who turned their back on you because of that. I'm seeing where there is kind of a heavy energy. There's been a heavy energy here, Libra. But things are changing. You have quest, and then you have the tower. So things are rapidly changing. You go from this kind of like stormy season, looks very cold, wet, not a fun energy, into this kind of sunny, clear season. So maybe as we move from winter into spring, you're gonna notice your life kind of restabilize. Because it's been very unstable. There's just been a lot of things going on. There's been a lot of chaos. You know, some of you have just been in this constant mode of go, 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 go for maybe the past six to seven months. And it's just like unexpected turns everywhere. I'm just seeing like all of these different things being thrown at you, Libra. Like life has been throwing shit at you for the past like six to seven months very unexpectedly and i'm seeing where as we go into the energy of spring it starts to kind of harmonize and balance again but there's some of you who might be dealing with somebody like i said who's still connected to someone else like there's definitely the vibe of someone who's connecting with someone else if you've been having the intuitive feeling that there's a third party libra there's a third party Let's just be real. I keep seeing that energy here. I don't pick up that it's anything serious. I don't know, actually. For some of you, like this person may have been investing into somebody for a while before they started talking to you. I'm also seeing somebody whose boss might try to come on to them, or there's a situation where a boss comes on to somebody. They, like I'm seeing like sexual harassment. And I'm seeing where this person may try to tell you, for, for this person that it resonates with, because there's someone in here who's experienced some kind of harassment within the workplace from a boss, and it's sexual. And I think that some of you are wanting to go and take this to court or you're wanting to take this to your superior, but you're afraid, you're afraid there's fear surrounding this. So you've been kind of hesitant. You may even have this particular boss try to tempt you away from doing that. They might try to say, oh, don't, don't say anything. You know, this is just between the two of us. Don't listen to them. They may try to threaten you, because I'm seeing the devil with the emperor. That can be a threat. They might even try to bribe you as well. Like I'm seeing somebody might try to bribe somebody else. I'm seeing bribery. There's just some shady shit going on here, Libra. What the hell is going on? Somebody feels a lot of regret for some kind of like under the table business practice that they do or that they have been doing. Like, this is very shady. Um, for some of you, it might be, like, dealing drugs or, like, for somebody, it's, like, 
trafficking. Like I keep seeing trafficking. There could be somebody who's involved in that. So be careful. Be careful, guys. Because I don't like this energy of the Emperor and the Devil together. Like, I don't know the energy that it's giving me right now with this Nine of Wands. This is not an energy you can trust. Is essentially what I'm picking up. Like, you might be connecting with somebody or you yourself might be doing something that's pretty fucking shady. Like, somebody's working beneath the law. Like, they're working kind of, like, under the table. Like, I'm seeing under the table business practices. This is something that the law is not aware of because you have balance. And it's, you know, these two cards are under the balance card. I feel like this has to do with business practice. I really feel like somebody does something as a business under the table. It's like criminal business. Organized crime. That's what I'm picking up. Somebody might be involved in organized crime. There may be somebody that you know. You might be working for this person. You might be involved in it. Your person might be involved in it. I don't know. Your mom, dad, whatever. But if this is somebody who, you know, you feel like there's something shady about this individual, your intuition's on point. Your intuition's definitely on point. And I feel like for some of you, you may find out what this is. Especially if you are a Libra with maybe Sag or Aries in your chart. You might end up finding out what this is. And it might make you not want to talk to this person anymore. That's all I'm saying. That is what I'm picking up. Just be patient. The truth always comes out. You can sit and look pretty. You can sit and look pretty, Libra. You can still invest into this if you'd like. But I'm seeing something coming out. Some kind of news coming out. And it may make you want to disconnect from someone because Seven of Wands goes up. This person may even get blocked. Like somebody might get blocked here. Because of some some news. You have the upper hand in this situation, like the tower. You know, you have the upper hand here with the Seven of Wands, the Tower, and the Empress. You know, once again, you have that energy of Jupiter. You have luck on your side in this situation. So whatever this is, whatever this unexpected news that comes in is, it's not going to affect you. Like, it's not going to, like, ruin your life or anything like that. <laughs> but... Because of the fact that the Six of Wands is here, it's like you come out on top. So you might find out that this person has a third party and then you block them. You know what I mean? Or this person may have committed a crime, some kind of, once again, sexually related crime, and you may go to court and it may be very stressful, but you have the upper hand in this situation. Just have patience. Everything will unravel in the month of March. This situation that's been wrapped up, it's unwinding. There's something here that's unwinding and I think you're gonna be seeing the light of the situation this month. So just sit and look pretty, Libra. But that's what I'm seeing here. If you'd like to book a personal reading, go ahead and click the link down below in the description box. It'll take you to my website and you can book there. But other than that, I will see you later. Take care and have a beautiful rest of your month, Libra. Bye-bye.